So let's quickly solve this interesting hackaround challenge. It says left rotation. A left rotation operation on an array of size n shift each of the array elements one unit to the left. Given an integer d, rotate the array that many, many steps left and return the result. So let me just go to the whiteboard and, and let me show you how it goes. So if you have d, you can actually do it in two ways. One, you can iterate from this many times and for each iteration, you are going to shift, in this case, you have to shift this one to this place, you have to shift this one to this place, you have to shift this one to this place, and you have to shift this one to this place. In that case, you now you are now going to have two, three, four, five, one. So in this case, you're going to have two different iterations. So you have a loop going from, uh, from zero to D and another loop going from, from zero to N. And this is going to be order of n squared time. Okay. Now to reduce the number of times, you can actually know that once you rotate an array by where the number of times where d is equal to n, it becomes the same array. So basically, what we are saying is, if we have this five, we have, and we have uh, d is equal to seven. It means that when we rotate this array seven times, we are going to come back to, at, at the fifth time, we are going to come back to this same array. So it means that we can actually reduce d to, to d mod n. So d is going to become d mod n. So if you have d to be, let's say, uh, even 25 or 26, you can reduce it to equal to d mod 26, which is, uh, give me one second. So you can reduce it to 26 mod 5, which is going to be 1. So in this case, you're only going to rotate this array once, one time. So in this case, you still have other, of, in this case, you have other, of, uh, sorry, give me one second. So in this case, you are going to have, this is other, of, um, so this first one will be order of n times d. So this second one, this method is going to be order of um, n times d. But in this case, you can be sure that d uh, is less than or equal to n. Okay. Now both methods uh, is not very good performance wise so we're going to use another method that amount to order of n time so let me just show you and that is the method we are going to use these two methods i mentioned here if you use these two methods uh, you are not going to pass some of the test cases so if you have one two three four five and you rotate it d times and assume that d is equal to one it means that we are going to cut it from here we have two arrays and we have to take this is l2 this is l1 so we are going to just reverse the position of l2 it's going to now give us two three four five one so you can now see that we swap in a second we swap the position of l2 this is now l2 and this is l1 so if you do it the other way around you have d is equal to three d is equal to three so in this case d is equal to 3 uh, and that position will be at this point the result is going to simply give us 4 5 1 2 3 so you simply cut it from here and just reverse the position so l2 is now 4 5 l1 is what 1 2 3 so that is a simple way to solve this problem and it's going to pass all the test cases let's go write it now and let's see what we have so at this point i'm going to say d is equal to d mod n and our l1 the first array l1 is equal to uh array ar are going from zero to going from zero to what from zero to d and our l2 is going to be the array going from d to n and we're simply going to return 
L2 plus L1. So that's basically the solution to this problem, L2 plus L1. And this simply is going to rotate it that many times. Let's try to run this code and let's see what we have. And you can see that it passes the sample test case. I'm going to submit now and let's see what we have as well. And it passes all the test cases as well. And you can see that we also have the maximum number of points, 20 points. So I'm going to stop here. I would like to thank you for viewing. If this has been informative for you, please subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.